Once again, hello and welcome to Phony Learn. Today I will explain how to edit and create custom scratch patterns. On top of that, I will show you how to perform the edited scratches with a single button on your keyboard. Please like, subscribe and don't forget to share if the video is helpful. Alright, to get started, load a track or a song on either deck. Traditionally, scratches are performed using the scratch area, or the jog wheel. Later versions of Virtual DJ introduced the scratch function with 8 preset scratches in the pad section. Click on any of the pads tabs to select scratches. And always make sure the option is selected to scratch. Click on any pad to perform the preset scratch. To create a custom scratch, or edit an existing one, right-click on the pad you want to edit. Let me first make this window visible. And now, let's clear the scratch sample completely by deleting the letters. The DNA scratch editor is a graph with both vertical and horizontal axis. The vertical one, which is labeled with letters represents the scratching distance from origin. The horizontal axis represents the beats of the track, and the lines running across the horizontal line represent each beat, as you can see in the track. Down here, is where you can type to edit your scratches. If you type any letter or letters, you will see scratches get formed on the first beat. A small letter represents a silent scratch as you can see when I save this single scratch. Letter A is assumed to be the point of origin, so all the scratches originate from point A. Capital letters represent an audible scratch, therefore, we can type letter E and save to hear how it sounds. To make a complete forward and back scratch, which is known by many as a baby scratch, let's add A after letter E. Go on and save it in the pad you prefer, then click on it. Remember to hold on the pad to allow the track to play after the scratch. You can multiply the scratches by having more baby scratches like this. To create a stab scratch, mute the back scratch by making it a small letter. You can further vary the letters until you get the sound of the scratch you prefer. Let's save this and see. Now we have edited the first beat, let us edit the second beat by adding a period, or full stop after the first. Everything typed after the period will appear on the next beat.
Let us save this one and hear how it sounds. Edit the scratch until it sounds the way you'd like. To scratch on the opposite side of your cue point, simply add a minus sign before the letters. As you can see, the scratch is inverted, and when you save, this is how it sounds. You can further edit it to suit your liking, but as for me, this feature is only useful if you have to create a single backspin. Now, create as many scratch patterns as you can and save them in the different pads you'd like. Copying mine will give you the idea of how you can create better scratches. Notice that it is easier to create scratches in pairs of alphabets. You can be creative in your own way. As usual, here is a bonus for watching the main part of the tutorial. I will show you how to assign buttons to activate your pads. Go to configurations and find mappers. Let me switch to the default settings to create new ones. Click on the key box and type the letter that you prefer. In my case, I have a numeric keypad which I can use to assign to corresponding pad numbers. You can type the action, for example, pad 1, or use this pointer at the lower section of the settings window to select the pad. Let me assign all my pads to specific numbers or letters starting from pad number 1 to pad number 8. Find a suitable name to save your configurations and exit settings. And now I can use them to scratch my track instead of clicking with a mouse. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and ring at notification bell for more.